Hey, it's Joe Amoy, founder and creator of the GPSforlove.com. Today, I'd like to talk about the three keys to creating a great relationship. Because if you're like most of the members of our GPS for Love community, you're done with the crappy relationship, you're done with the crappy guys, you're done with the boys, you're looking for a man who's going to give you that kind of relationship that you really desire and that you know you deserve. So we're going to start off by talking that there are three actual key components that you absolutely positively must have if you're going to create that great relationship. So just to give you a little heads up, a little insight, there was a time in my life where after walking away from my engagement 30 days before walking down the aisle, I said to myself, that's it, I'm done. It's I want a great relationship, and if I can't get a great relationship, I'd rather be alone the rest of my life. Because at that point in my life, I was tired of being with people who just really made my life crap. <laughs> I mean, you know, who gave me a couple of good, exciting, and fun things, but who really didn't consistently, consistently deliver the goods, who didn't consistently give me the things that I needed in order for me to be happy. So what I ultimately learned in my journey, and after now having a successful relationship for about 15 years now, is that there are three key components, and that's what I want to share with you today. So the first one is what I call growth. And that's the understanding is that a relationship is a living, breathing thing, just like everything else in nature. And in nature, if you look at nature, things are either growing or they're dying. And the problem for a lot of relationships is people work really hard to get that other person and to have the relationship. And then what happens? They get comfortable. And instead of growing, the relationship starts going into decay and it starts dying. And so what you must realize is that in order to have a great relationship, you have to grow as an individual and as a couple. So one of the reasons why I believe that I have such a strong relationship with my wife, Natalie, is that we are committed to growing as individuals and also as a couple. She supports me in my growth and I support her in her growth. And so we both are dedicated to doing whatever we can to support each other as individuals, but we also work on getting better as a couple and we are so dedicated to each other and so committed to each other that the whole process becomes really easy and i'm i'm a big component i'm a, I'm a big believer and that's one of the reasons why our relationship is so strong the second key component of a great relationship is picking a partner who naturally meets what i call your essential needs See, if you're going to have a happy, fulfilling, successful, a great relationship, there are things that you absolutely positively must have. I call these the essential needs. And these things work a lot like food, water, and air. You take any one of those things away and you're ultimately going to die. Well, that's the way it works in a relationship. There are key components. There are key needs that you absolutely positively must have. And there's a process that I created. I work with my one-on-one -on -one clients. I call it the checklist for love. It's literally creating a checklist. So if you're not clear, you might want to take some time and really ask yourself, what is it that you absolutely need? Not as, not what you would want, what you want, what you would prefer, but what are those things that you absolutely positively must have in order for you to be happy? And once you do that, it becomes easy because you pick a partner who naturally gives you those things. You don't have to make somebody do it because the reality is somebody can't do it. If they don't do it naturally, they're not going to do it. It's just too much work. And that's a big mistake I see a lot of members of our community make, is they pick a guy who just doesn't do these things naturally. Or maybe he did it in the beginning because he tried really hard, but then he stopped doing it because that's who he really is. So I'm a, I'm a big believer is that if you have to force somebody into trying to meet your needs, they're simply the wrong person for you. So key component number two is picking someone who naturally meets your essential needs. And the third one, and this is the big one, and I believe this is the foundation of a great relationship, because no great relationship can ever exist without this one thing, and that's trust. See, you absolutely positively must be in a relationship with someone that you can trust implicitly, implicitly, because that is the foundation. If you can't trust someone, you'll never have a happy and fulfilling relationship, and it works both ways. A guy has to feel like he can trust you. And we're not talking in your mind. We're not talking that rational, you know, the rationalizing that BS, that justification that you, all those excuses that you tell yourself to believe that you can trust a guy when he's showing you he's not trustworthy. We're talking about in your gut, in your soul. There's an inner knowing that absolutely I can trust this person. And that's scary. 
But until you get to that place and you own that trust and you really feel it 100%, you'll never be able to have a great, happy, and fulfilling relationship. So I want to review real quick. If you want to have a great relationship, there are three things you absolutely positively must have. You must understand that it's a growth process and you have to pick a partner where you are committed to growing as individuals and as a couple. The second thing is you have to pick a partner who meets all of your essential needs, who naturally gives you and consistently gives you the things that are important to you that are essential to you that make you feel happy and fulfilled on a consistent basis. And the third, which is the foundation, is picking someone that you can trust implicitly and experiencing and knowing and feeling that trust in your gut. And if you can do all three of these things, then you're gonna have that great relationship that you ultimately desire and deserve. So what I'd like you to do now, I'd like you to look back at those past relationships that you've been in, or maybe you're in a relationship now, because you know you want that great relationship. And I want you to see which one of these components was actually missing for you. Because I have a, I have a hunch here that if you go back, you're gonna see, mm, you know what? This was missing, that was missing, or maybe all three were missing. And so it may have been a guy that you were attracted to, you had a lot of fun with, you know, maybe been, he was great in bed, but the reality is he didn't, these three key components weren't there. As always, I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you next time. Much love.